Welcome everyone to the Sub 4 RA channel. I am your host Rhino and today we bring you qualifying for the last racing event of the 2019 season. That's right, we finally have reached an end to the ADRC season and 2020 is ready to go right behind us. But we got to finish this last qualifying session. Very first time at Homestead. Not your typical looking NASCAR track. This should be interesting. All I'm going to say is we can probably expect the unexpected anything possible when it comes to Homestead here with this track layout. With that in mind, we have three cars still mathematically eligible, even though it looks like Jeff Purvis with a 26 point lead. It's definitely his to lose. But the two RPR cars, Frank Klein and Ken Castillo, do have an outside chance at capturing that ADRC title. Taking a look at all the 60-something cars attempting to qualify today. Obviously, those guys battling for the ADRC championship, but also going to be battles going on to try to get in the top 20 to automatically qualify for Daytona. Speaking of qualifying, here we go. We have Jeff Purvis, your points leader, up. Qualifying key today. Very, very important. Let's see how he does the points leader. 2.82. New track? We don't know what to expect here, so I don't know if that's a good time. Mediocre, bad, who knows. Frank Klein with a 2.70, so that's definitely got to be a good time right there. All right, Ken Castillo in the 75 car coming strong here in the second half of the season. 2.91, that might be a little bit slower time. All right, 281 of Ronnie McDee. Out of the points title now. 2.63. See how well that holds up. That might be tough to beat. All right, the three car now of Bud. 2.69 for Bud. Good time. Almost won last race. Won the race before that. Amber Kligneton there in the 713 at 2.87. That'll bring up the 22 of Nero 62. 2.94. Now Golden Girl for Team Nero 62 Racing. Golden Girl, a 2.73. That'll bring up Rusty Nubbins. He is your top stock racing car here in the ADRC right now points wise that's a 3.02 that might put him towards the back all right the 832 now of Alexander H kiss stealing wheeling dealing uh 2.83 now the one car of Nassara Trunkle or something like that 2.90 Stella Beans up now in the three car for RPR uh, 2.91, that'll bring up the 12 car of El Diablo Al Pastor. And racing his way to a 2.93. So we got Matthew Deavers now on the Roadrunner, the 09 Roadrunner for Nick Deavers Racing slash Scott Engineering. 2.69, that puts him third right now. Okay, the four car of Minerva Luca. 2.97, that's going to bring up Yellow Dale. In the three. Let's see. Yellow Dale. Not bad there. 2.78. All right. Double zero of Dirty Deep. Trying to hang on to that top 20. Oh, man. Not good. Not good. All right. Well, 317 car now. Chef Squid, who at one point looked like he was going to be the ADRC champ this year, but then all the stock showed up and he kind of slipped. DNF there, unfortunately, for Chef Squid. All right. 3D Bot Maker. 2.90. All right, she's 20th in points. Glitter Girl going to run a 2.73. So that's it. Your top 20 automatically guaranteed a spot at Homestead. Now we're going to come back for the remaining 40-something cars after these messages. Hi, I'm Dr. Jeremy West at West Orthodontics. At West Orthodontics, we understand that each patient, like each smile, is unique. To celebrate the new decade, we're offering $500 off full orthodontic treatment to the next 10 new patients. Do you know what you can do with $500? You could order 119 pumpkin spice lattes from Starbucks. You could eat 41 slices of avocado toast. Avocado toast doesn't come cheap, but $500 goes a long way. You can see Billy Joel in concert five times like I am right now. This is a green screen, but you get the point. What are you waiting for? Call us today. Schedule your complimentary consultation with me, Dr. West, in Modesto, Riverbank, or Patterson, and get started with your new beautiful smile.
All right, back from the break. All the rest of the cars need to try to get in. They got 16 spots to fill. We're going to start with Lady Red Pill, 2.97. Okay, the five car Texas Terry. You got to figure maybe somewhere around that three flat mark might. Well, there's a three flat right there. That might be the cutoff point. Uh, we got the one car now, Maxilla. I'm guessing somewhere, somewhere right around three flat. Maxilla, 2.88. And that's going to bring up the seven car of Chloe K. Chloe K is come on strong at the end of the season. A 2.71. That puts her, I believe, fifth right now. Okay, that's the 48. Oh, Jimmy Johnson. Your defending ADRC champion will not defend his title. Has not made the last three races after making every single ADRC cup. That's the 92. His former car legend, Herb Thomas, at 2.77. That'll bring up Blue Dale. Looking pretty good there. 2.75. All right, now the 81 car of Wendell Scott. Let's see what he's got. It's a 2.87. That'll bring up teammate Nick Devers. Co-founder, co-founders of this team, I believe. Uh, Wendell Scott, Nick Devers. Nick Devers a 2.78. So the 2.16 now, Julius Harris. He started the whole custom NASCAR thing here, really. Uh, maybe accidentally. 2.97. That might put him in. Captain Crash. 89 Mattel for Blackjack Racing has some issues there. That was a 3.16. Doubt it'll get him in. Manny Manny, 2.99. That's probably going to put him near the bubble right there, um, I guess. Kiko Motorsports, let's see if he continues his... No, DNF. Looking faster without that wing, though, Kiko. All right, 78 car of Martin Truex Jr. He gets the Austin 316 time there. That'll bring up 346 car Mopar Mike. Little bobble there, 2.94, gonna put him close. All right, Jay Mool in the 26 car. Up and down season for Mool. He gets a 2.90. All right, six car Mark Martin. See if the old guy can do it like he did at Daytona. No, DNF. The last you'll see of Mark Martin this season. All right, 24 car now, Jeff Gordon, one of the heaviest cars in the ADRC, but, oh, man, he has problems, too. I don't know what it is. MDG Racing is slash Bayou City Bandits, just like the Curves, having problems here on the 3D Bot Maker crash merger. That's the 44 car of Manny, um, what you call it? I'm falling behind now. <laughs> that was... A 44 car was uh, Petty, Kyle Petty, a 2.96. Scott Dunlap, the 77 car, just ran a 2.96 as well. 16 car of Vinny, oomts, oomts, oomts. Nightlife, 2.99. I don't know if Vinny's going to make it to the party this time. All right, the 580 car, Chapman Films, 3.20. That's what I get for having no notes in front of me. All right. Sean from Redline Salvage Inc. has come on strong this second half of the year. 2.77, that almost guarantees him in. Now the 23 car of down, sit, put, Strickland, 2.73. Hud has ran good the last couple times out now. 26 car, Ricky Bobby, and he's going to shake and bake it to only a 3.24. I think he'll be watching with Cal on the sidelines. That'll bring up the 77 car of Doc Savage, and he'll be watching with the macho man. Oh, yeah, Randy Savage. Maybe not, 3.01, that might put him in. I might have spoke too soon. Ah, there he is, the seven car, Cliff Steele. He knows only one way, and that's straight. 2.71. 76 car now, Warpid. 76. 3.21. I think he'll he'll miss this race. The 01 car now of Front Row Joe is gonna be Grandstands Joe because he will not be racing. Okay, five car now, Casey Kane. Man, what's up with these stocks? Same thing. Kane will be joining from either the pit area or in the grandstands. Uh, Kurt Busch, 3.40. No bueno. He won't be my... Yeah, he, he, no, that won't make it. 18 car now. Kyle Petty, we're getting down. I going to say to get down to the last few. Kyle Petty, I don't know what's up with the stocks. DNF now. Chicken George, 79 car. Rolling his way to a 2.84. That might get him in. 9.11 car now of... Carly K and some just issues this whole season. That's the one RPR car that just has not done well. Let's see. We'll give it a kickstart here, maybe. 
still not enough, unfortunately, for her. She will not qualify. That'll bring up the 60 car. Tim Flock, a legend on the old race mountain. Oh! And Flock will have to fly south for the winter because he will not be racing. That'll bring up 41 car Donald Blake. And Donald can run a target because he won't be racing either come race day. Now the 11 car Mike James those uh, Hot Ones wheels. 3.37. I don't think that's going to be good enough. The 27 car now, a little bit. And a little bit gets a 4.07. Forget about it. The one car. Mama Deeb. No, DNF for Mama. I'm sorry, Mama. 39 car now, Dave Akers. Dave will not make it to the show. But here are the 36 cars that did make Homestead, including your pole setter in the 281. That's Ronnie McD. Now the three cars that are still in it mathematically for the individual championship. We have Frank Klein's going to start fourth. We have Jeff Purvis, your current points leader, starting 15th. And starting 25th, 75 car Ken Castillo. All right, guys, make sure you comment down below with the car you think will win. And if that driver does, we will give you a shout out at the end of the race video. Here we go, guys. One race to go. It's going to be huge. Unpredictable. Looking forward to it, guys. Make sure you get your guesses in quickly. You should have the race video posted by Monday. As always, guys, thanks for watching. And we'll see you at the next one.